hello, I am Janine Bolin. I want to say thank you so much for joining my open coffee hour. This is kind of the time when I enjoy being able to meet people who want to meet me. Uh, my friends come on these open coffees. It started off as open office hours. Um, I used to be a college professor, and instead of sitting in a room waiting on students, I decidedly decided that with the Eight Gates University that I run, I've got around 580 some odd students and sprinkled over 91 courses over the last seven years. I've just started doing these open Friday coffees and I was bringing in other people. The challenge that I experience as a business owner is not only do I own a broadcasting company and have a team of nine amazing people that help us produce these shows, that sort of thing. I also have the challenge of I'm constantly cranking in new clients. And I'm a part of four different networking groups and people all want these one-to-one -one groups with me. And so I'm kind of like, by the end of the year, I'm sitting there going, I am sorry, I do not have time to speak to you one-to-one. -one. So I started opening up what was for just my students. This is what the open coffee is all about. So what I'd like you guys to know about, if you, if you don't already, down at the bottom of your Zoom screen, there's this lovely little thing called reactions. And it's a little happy face. Go ahead and click on that happy face just once. Thank you, Cheryl. Lovely way of promoting it for people. You can have all kinds of emoticons or you can raise your hand. Um, and when I ask you to raise your hand, that is, that is what I am going to be asking you for. But before we get started, we still have people coming in and I know Wi-Fi has been a little slow on some of the things. Um, I wanted to let you folks know that we have a lot of new podcasters who are coming on my shows and so, if you have a podcast and you are seeking guests, I need you to raise your hand. I'd like to speak to people uh, with ADHD who are willing to share their challenges. Wow. Okay. So I have a lot of folks who are either entrepreneurs or they've taken my media kit course or they're authors. And so that's why it's so important that if you have a podcast, come on to my open coffee. You can come on, say, yes, I'm looking for guests and you can blitz off. You don't have to hang around. We'll make sure we get your contact uh, information out on there. So if you have a Calendly link or a way you want people to connect with you, Carol, for the podcast, please put it in the uh, chat for us, please. Okay, so who else has a podcast that is looking for guests? Nobody. Okay. Um, we have a podcast that's always looking for guests. I run the Janine Boland Show. We are a pay to play because we promote you on 47 different platforms and 64 public radio stations. So we're not only a podcast, we're also a broadcast. We are now getting sponsors for our program. They're paying anywhere from $20 to $30 per thousand people who listen to us. So that's kind of the market that we're getting right now. So just wanted to let you know, we are attracting attention and we now have sponsors. So just wanted to let you know, that's where we are uh, with the Janine Boland Show. And so if you're interested, you can go to the JanineBolandShow.com and you can sign up there and you will go because <coughs> it's $497 if you're a member of the public. But because you've come here, it's only $299. And so if you want that link, Tasha will put it in the, in the chat for you a little bit later on. Ask anybody who has taken a course of mine. This also means a 90-minute workshop. Any one of my courses, you're part of my masterminds, you're in my group chats, my students get to go next. So anybody who is a student that has a question on one of those platforms, please raise your hand and we'll get to you next. <laughs> hey, Janine, I, I do have a question. I, we were talking earlier. I'm glad to be here, folks. Uh, uh, the, yesterday, I got some Janine time. It was amazing. <laughs> um, and a uh, question about uh, like anything on the, on the social post or what to look for next for our course. I'm kind of okay. Uh, that's something that um, some of you may or may not know. I partner with other businesses that I do service with. One of the things that I love about my network is I have all these amazing entrepreneurs in my life. And some of them have opportunities with me to be able to work with me. And then they actually pay for the privilege. Okay. So Nicole is one of those who's invested in my business and said, Hey, I want to do a 90 minute workshop with you. And we're going to teach authors how to do their audiobook for free how you can do the recording, set it up, do your audiobook for free. And that is um, going to be happening, I think, uh, December, when did we decide that? December 16th? Yeah, that's uh, December that we're going to be doing. Yeah. 
And so for those of you who are interested that are authors that want to learn how to do your audiobook for free, this is the early bird price of only $67. By the way, when you hear me say early bird, that's the cheapest I will ever be <laughs> So when it comes to those courses. So if you have any kind of an interest, don't worry about the date. Don't worry about the time. Just re register at the early bird price. That way I can send you the recording. That's how my courses work. My students are used to this, but if you've never been a student of mine, it's like the early bird price is the cheapest. And then after we kick over into 2023, those workshops and everything go up in price. So Nicole and I are setting that up. So what you do when you're doing these 90 minute workshops with me, the very first uh, social media platform you put out there is, hey, I'm interested in showing authors how to record their audiobook for free. Are you interested? Okay, that's the first one that goes up. Then if you'll see in our shared document that I actually have a logo for you now and icons that you can use, that's the second or third one. And then once you give me a headshot, we'll do the fourth and through seventh. So you use, usually you have seven different media posts to let people know about it. And you need to email your list at least three times, okay, as you get closer and closer. And we can talk about the details to that as we move into that process. So that's how you go about making that planned profitability that was on the open coffee uh, several weeks ago when I gave you guys that quick course on this is how you do a 90 minute workshop, blah, blah, blah. Now, if you want a little bit more education on how you can do that, you can sign up for free. Uh, you can sign up, I think it's at, um, forgive me, $97 <laughs> to uh, be a part of the planned profitability, the power of 90 minute workshops. And that goes up on uh, December 2nd. And Tasha, if you'd be kind enough to put that in the chat for people who may be interested there, you are not partnering with me there. I'm teaching you exactly what I do, how I made $1,500 on my workshop. This is what I did. And then we move on from there and you go off and you do your own workshop. If you partner with me, it's a lot more expensive, but I, I work with you hand on hand on how we do that. So it's up to you how you want to do that. Okay. So, uh, Nicole, did that answer your question? Yes, it did. Absolutely. Thank you. What is the difference between a webinar and a workshop? Let me define that for you. A webinar is where you keep people on for 90 minutes. You give them a lot of social proof. And at the end, you sell them on your high ticket item. I detest that model. I don't like it. It's not good for my personality type. I like workshops. And that's where I'm teaching you to do three things. And we're taking 90 minutes. And by the end of that workshop, those three things are done. In the course of the planned profitability, we are working on what workshop you want to build out. You set a date, you set a time, you post it on social media, and we send you off with this is what else you need to do over the course of the next 21 days to get your workshop up and running. So that's what I do with the plan profitability. So that's for me, that's how I define things. What is a webinar? What is a workshop? The webinars are lead generation. You're trying to get as many leads as possible into your uh, funnel. Uh, for workshops, you're actually teaching something and you need cash on the barrel head. You actually charge for that. And then in my workshops, I do not sell. I don't sell you anything else, not another high ticket item. You're learning that skill set, that thing from me. Okay. Uh, Nicole, anything else on that? Hi, good morning. Good morning, everyone. Janine, I, I could have a list 10 long here, but uh, <laughs> because of what you did with expressing or no, uh, finding the divine and I followed you in your footsteps, I'm in the process of paying that money to, you know, who... <laughs> So I don't know if your workshop would be uh, applicable to me since I'm in the process. And I do have a KDP account already. Right. Um, for authors that already have a KDP account and all that kind of stuff, go ahead. And if you want to do an audio book, uh, go for it. What I recommend is for authors who already have their book out, um, that you go ahead and you have it on your website. And if you're mailing those books out to people, like you're signing autographed copies, this is a workshop that will allow you to sell that book for $40. So you have the cost of your book, but then you also give them the audiobook and you charge a higher ticket amount. Uh, some people who have longer books, like three to 600 pages, I recommend that they charge $60 a book. You make it higher than Amazon because in Amazon, they just get the book. When you're the one shipping out the book, they get the autographed copy, they get the audio book, and they get to be a part of your uh, updates that you give this, the additional things like Doreen, she has this beautiful book called essentially speaking. And not only does she help people find their voice and be able to speak 
So if you're interested in speaking, I highly recommend uh, her stuff. She also has a free course where she did the audio product of the seven steps or seven secrets. Help me out there, Doreen. I can't remember exactly the point. Depends on what year. Yes, secrets. It depends on what year the book came out. So she just refreshed her book. Okay. And so if you're interested in public speaking and you have some emotional issues or you have a real, you really struggle, like you can feel yourself lock up right here in your throat when you think about it, please talk to Doreen. <laughs> she will get you where you need to go. Did I do that right? Is that, that about was right? perfect. Thank okay. You. Right. <laughs> okay. Just want to make sure that I refer, refer people correctly. So Doreen, if you would put on the chat where people can get your book and and that course that you were doing. And if it's not available yet, let me know and I'll stop promoting you in that way and we'll wait. Um, anyway, uh, did that answer your question? Yeah, it sounds like the workshop you're doing uh, with Nicole might be still useful for me, even though I'm in process doing the audiobook. Okay, if it is, and this is the other thing, I give you guys a money back guarantee. If you take the workshop, and you take one look at it and you're like, oh my gosh, I can't believe I did this because this is so not going to fit my business model. You know me, I'll give you your money back minus the charges that Stripe gave me. Does that make sense? So, yeah. you know, because I didn't receive that money, I'll give you back all the money that I received. Uh, so don't worry about that. If you take a class and you're like, oh, wow, this is so not appropriate for me. I'll give you your money back minus the charges I got charged for the credit card use. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Anything else, Doreen? Are we good with you? You all wrapped up? Well, today I'm going to be giving a workshop uh, and I charge $97. I oh, okay. Well, that's going to be, let, let me get my students. Let me but take no, care of the I, students. I, no. Okay. One, one person. So I'm signing up for your profit, plan <laughs> profitability. Okay. So I'm, I'm, I'm a testimonial, right? <laughs> There's going to be a before and after. So, so this is what it I. Wasn't a pro, it wasn't a promo. It was just, hey, girl, I'm coming. <laughs> okay. I need to I'm... learn something here. Only one sign up. So, first of all, I just want to say I apologize. And second of all, if you had been with me two weeks ago, you would have understood why I jumped the gun of no promos right now. I'm just trying to get through the students. Yeah, <laughs> we you. had a few people take over my uh, take over my open coffee. And so we're going to ixnay that. But anyway, Doreen, I should have known better. Thank you very much. Yeah. Go ahead, Cheryl. I have had a, you know, a podcast, but I'm thinking of doing it again. How do you know which one will give you the statistics of the number of listeners and information about being able to share it, you know, with other syndicating and uh, give you information that I never got the first time. Right. Podcasting has changed drastically over the last three years. Okay. And we happen to have two people on this call who I recommend that if they have time in their calendar, you get on a one-to-one -one with them. The first one is Nicole, who I'm doing a workshop with. That's why she and I found each other. She is very good, not only at video editing, but also audio. And so she can help you set some of that stuff up. The other one is Adam Bricker, who's actually involved. He came on a little late because he's, he's like me. He's super busy. He's got lots of irons in the fire. But both of those people, I recommend you, you chat with both of them. Look at me volunteering you, Adam. Um, <laughs> I recommend you chat with them. And the advice I'm going to give you on this is, first of all, decide what you want the podcast to do. There are three different reasons for having a podcast. The first one is that you interview the clients you're trying to bring in and you interview them for free, right? And then you say to them, hey, for an additional $400, $200, whatever, I will promote you on all my networks. And that's what you were talking about. How do I get it out? But you start off where you're just on YouTube. This is what I recommend. You're either on YouTube or Podbean, something basic that's very inexpensive or free, and you're shipping this, this stuff out. You don't worry about it because you're, you're what the whole point of the podcast is, is to interview your client that you eventually want to attract into your business. The second one is you want to talk to the community that your perfect client is taking care of. So like, I am interested in helping authors. Those are my main clients for my online university. However, I always speak to business owners who are making over $100,000 a year. And I do that because I want to attract that client into my business. Okay. 
Now, the third reason is because it's a hobby. You love talking about this stuff and you want an avenue with which to express that creativity. And like any good hobby, it can become a moneymaker, but it's going to take some time, right? It's going to take some time to build it up. So depending upon what your aspect is and what you're trying to do, um, that's what you want to focus on. So Adam, do you have any comments you'd like to share with Cheryl, please? Sure. I'll, sh I'll share with Cheryl and with everyone. And by the way, I'm really good at taking your advice. So Nicole, give me a call. I want to connect. I need some editing. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, Cheryl and everybody else, um, the one thing, the one thing that I think is most important is to understand your customer's journey. What does it take for them to meet you, like you, trust you, engage with you, hire you? And if you craft that journey, the podcast that you have can play a specific role in it and understand there's a different role for the, the guest, the follow-up, the person who is on your, uh, in your audience. So the customer journey is by far the most important reason that I do any of my podcasting. And I want to make sure that I take care of my clients. So if you hear one of my podcasts, or as I call them, shows, um, I have a TV network. If you hear any of my shows and you want to engage with that person, I make that real easy. It's a link. It's a click. It's a click. And, and that's what I do. The customer journey is by far... The, the most important aspect of the podcast. There's all kinds of different ways. So Cheryl, does that kind of answer your question? Sort of, but my first experience was being asked to be a host of a program and they called me every week, it was live. And I ended up spending almost 10,000 for that three years. And I never got the benefit back. I was supposed to be paid something, but I let it go because it was, it was truly helping families with caregiving issues, but I don't want, I don't have the money to keep doing that. I need to be paid and I don't know how to swap over to, uh, you know, cause every person I interviewed and I interviewed about 150, I never charged them anything. And I always try to give them time to be able to tell how to reach them. And I don't know if that's the right thing or not. Uh, so I would recommend you chatting it up with Nicole and Adam, and they will talk to you about how people are actually getting promote what we call promotional podcasting, which is you're actually getting paid and you're able, because a lot of people don't know this, even the least expensive, even if you do a lot of it yourself, it's still going to cost you anywhere from 80 to $90 an episode. When you start really looking at the software and the tech and all that, now some people have been able to get it way down. Well, those were people who were already sound engineers. They already had a lot of this stuff in their toolkit. So just the basics of getting on Podbean or something else like that, it's going to cost you around even the, the minimum I've been able to hear people say has been 80 to $90 an episode. Okay, go ahead, Nicole. Yeah, I was just going to chime in and say, hey, you know, Cheryl, you can sponsor your own podcast through affiliation. So you don't have to worry about anybody else. And that's what's great about the connecting and collaborating. I put my info in the chat. Uh, we can just get together and talk about it. Um, so you don't have to rely on anybody else. Do it yourself and get paid. Oh, wow. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? <laughs> yeah, it is. It's nice. Janine when that knows me. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. So that's why I tell people, come on here. You never know who's on here. And there's a lot of brains in this room that have a lot of life experience. And we're glad to help you where we can. Do I have Thank any you. other students that have taken one of my workshops, one of my online courses in one of my masterminds groups that has a question? No? Okay. We come to that wonderful part of this process where we have the one minute tech tip from my dear friend, Matt who also is the master of alliteration. Good morning, Matt. What's our tech tip today? Good morning. This week I am the great gadget gobbler because <laughs> next week is turkey time. So I had an epiphany this week. I don't like doing adulting. Adulting sucks. So <laughs> I decided to sit there and be a glorious five-year-old for as long as I can. So, uh, and I cried foul just like the turkey did at, at the machine. So one tech tip uh, that I have for you guys this week is how people here, by a show of hands, think that just having a password to get into a website is adequate? <laughs> okay, good. Because what that is, is the equivalent of Bill Gates trying to protect you from 
Godzilla, Freddy Krueger, or the Kardashians. You know his sorry ass is getting killed. And so basically you want protection with another device like your phone or program on your phone. So you basically want the 1987 version of Arnold from Predator. Come with me if you want to live. Get to the chopper. So that's what you want to sit there and to protect you from what's out there. And if you need help with that, that's when I'm available. And so Matt does our tech tips because he is also on Winning on Wednesdays, which is one of the networking groups that we have. And so if I ever have issues and I did have a bot attack, not one, not two, but three of my 15 websites, he's my go-to guy that kind of helps me out with some of that. So I just wanted to let you know that Matt is somebody who I not only refer people to, but I also will uh, be using in the future with my own business because of his expertise. So whenever I bring somebody on or I highlight them, please realize I've paid money for this person to be in my life. And if I haven't paid him money, uh, I will be because I'm using them as a guarantee in my back pocket. So I just wanted to let you know, if I ever highlight people, these are people that I have done business with myself. Okay. All right. So Thank you very much, Matt. Appreciate the tech tip. Um, also, do we have anybody here that is interested in send out cards, sending cards on Saturday, doing easygoing follow-up using sending cards? Yes, no, maybe. So Nicole? Um, okay, so what I wanted to let you know is you can get into the 45-minute free training on how I do follow-up through um, sending cards on Saturday. And you can click on that link and that will sign you up and register you. And I do that every Thursday. And so you can pick whatever Thursday you want to join on that. Okay. Awesome. So you bet. Okay. Moving on. Is there anybody here who is, has a active YouTube channel and wants to do show swaps with me? Here is uh, uh, my, I oh. Go, Doreen, and okay, can you guys raise your digital hand so we can get you, Tasha is madly trying to get your name, so if you would raise your digital hand, you go down to reactions, and if you click on raise hand, <laughs> then we can get you, okay, thank you, Tasha, for getting everybody's name that has YouTube channels. This is my YouTube channel in the chat right at the bottom. Would you guys please click on it that have YouTube channels? If you're not subscribing to me, please subscribe. That will alert us that you are subscribing on a Friday because you know how YouTube does that for you. And then we will go over to your channel and we will subscribe and we will start following you and commenting on your YouTube channel. And then when we do our show swap, then we have engagement. Does that make sense? Yeah, that's how we're playing with the AI these days. If somebody knows of a better way, I'm always open to be educated, <laughs> but I don't know how else to make that happen these days. Okay, thank you very much for that. Okay, so if you have an active YouTube channel, then please let Tasha know and go ahead and for the purposes of this group, put your name and your YouTube channel link so that people can find you and we will subscribe to your channel. Okie doke. So do I have anybody who is a JV partner or took the training and has questions? Oh, My hand was up from before. Oh, okay. All right, let's go ahead and, and lower I, that. I have, I have a question but it's backtracked now. Okay, just a second. <laughs> All right, so that's JV Partners. And then do I have anybody here on the call that is an author that has questions on three topics? Just a second. Are you an author that you have a question about your media kit course? You have a question about how to get on a podcast as a guest, or you have a question about recording your audio book for free? Okay, we're good. All right, go ahead, Wendy, what's up? So you you talked about swap subscribing, but what's a sh which is great, but what's a show swap? When uh, it, a collaboration, it's where I will come on to your show and we will do a collaboration together, and then I will come on to your show, or you have a specific topic you want to talk about, and I will do a video with my perspective, and then you will we will link shows. There's Three ways that I am familiar with. I'm sure there's way more, <laughs> but those are the three things that I have seen when people do show swaps. So you decide what kind of a show swap you want to do with me and we will set that up, but it will be, we're doing recordings in February for that. So you need to, 
book now because <laughs> space is limited. So that's why I'm letting you guys know. Yeah. So here, here's the deal. If I connect you to anyone in LinkedIn, you're going to want to get to know that person. Okay. So that's what this answer I thought you would give me. I just wanted to verify it. So if I link you for anyone, it's specific purposes and it's likely worth looking into for you. Okay. That sounds lovely. I have a team that takes care of my LinkedIn. I very rarely am on there. So my team will be happy to take care of them. So if you would put uh, in the chat, if you will give to Tasha in private message, what your LinkedIn link is, so we can be aware of that and my team will take care of you. And that way we take care of your people too. I have a lot of people that are Nigerian princes and princesses, and they're always wanting to be my friend. <laughs> And now that I'm in broadcast radio, it's like, it just got bigger. Now I've got like people from North Korea that assure me that I need to get to know them better. So there you go. Okay. Um, let me make sure I go to my script. Okay. So the authors, do we have any authors that want? To? Okay, cool. All right. If you would raise your hand, if you have not yet been called on that you want to chat, uh, if you'll raise your digital hand reactions, and that includes you too, Wendy. Anybody who had a question, if you had something else you wanted to share, feel free to raise your hand and we'll get you lined up in the... Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. First off, hi, Joyce. Good to see you. My favorite boomer of social media helps you out with LinkedIn. What may I do for you? Well, I guess a main request is if people could put their last names in here, like Wendy and maybe Matt and you know, may I, I ask gonna, why what's that because then maybe I could find them on LinkedIn because I stalk people there may I make a recommendation what do you Would think you, instead of asking other people to disclose stuff that they may not be comfortable disclosing right would you be kind enough to put your LinkedIn profile and then they oh, can connect with I'm you? I'm so good with that. I yes, just, you are. Again, I'm just like the new kid to the party. You know, I just- That's okay. Other, Joyce, you know, Joyce is fine. I work a lot with the LGBTQ community. And so a lot of times they are in some sort of transition. And so we always just put our link, boom, at the top and people oh. can decide if they want to- uh, participate or not, depending upon where they are in their own lives. But if you have somebody specifically, feel free to private message them. I think I've given you guys permission to connect with each other. No. Okay. I didn't. That's, all right. that's what I was kind of trying to do before. I got yeah. It. And it didn't work. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So that's, I did that's put my YouTube, just one final thing. I did put my YouTube channel in the chat and I find it like a small miracle that we can now have branded YouTube channels. Maybe you all knew this. We got okay. handles. I'm Ooh. like, Oh my God, I don't have to have a hundred million followers. I can just, here I am out there. Boomer social media. Tour. That's all. Just came to Thank say, you. say hi. Thank you so much. When YouTube came out with the word handles, I'm like, oh my God, I'm back in the CB era of the 1970s. Breaker, breaker. This is Mother Goose. How are you? I'm like, I, I was transported back to that era. <laughs> I was like, oh my God, I have a handle. I thought I got rid of that. <laughs> no. <laughs> actually, okay. actually, you, you had handles back in the old BBS days too. Right? BBS. BBS. That has been a long time. Help me out. Remind me of that. That's the bulletin board system. So basically what I'm talking about in English is before the modern internet, you had message boards. Yes. yes. And message so what boards. you would do is you dial in just like AOL and you'd go online and you'd have a handle, you have a nickname. And that's where the terminology also came from. Yeah. Gotcha. Oh, wow. Yep. You also, uh, now if you really want to get crazy, you know, you, can't forget those beautiful broadcasters that people use. The ham radio operators were had handles as well, so that you couldn't figure out where they were. So well, the, fun the, stuff. The, the, well, the problem with the ham radio, it's not too kosher. <laughs> Thank you, Matt. <laughs> Thank you, Matt. We needed that. <laughs> Go ahead, Carol. <laughs> <laughs> I have to control my laughter. <laughs> I jab. I jumped the gun before, so I will repost it since people came late. But no, no, I'm curious. How can I help you? That's what I'm asking. How can I help you? Um. Okay. Um. I was struggling to upgrade my name because now on uh, YouTube I can post. It a name for my channel as opposed to gobbledygook, you know, apostrophe, 
z equals and and when you mentioned handles is that the way i make the change is that a quick tip that somebody can give me um i was in oh, this morning for about 20 minutes and i couldn't figure it out okay so i would highly recommend <clears throat> that you get on with matt and he will run you through that very quickly on how you go to your email and it says click on handle and all that so when when YouTube sent you to your Gmail account, your email, you can walk through that. But if you get stuck somewhere and it's easy to do, please call Matt, okay? Okay, thank you. I'll help you out. Okay, Cheryl, how can I help you? I was wanting to know about the, what you said for authors about something free. Is it, what how was to, it? Oh, how to build, build out and sell your audiobook for free. Okay, yeah. yeah. How do I find that? Oh, um, hang on. Let me get it for you. I don't think Tasha has this link yet. So okay. <laughs> it's basically record and post your audiobook for free. But, and we'll talk to you about the techniques that we use so that people don't get angry with you when it's not on Audible. We walk you through how you let your readers know why you're doing it this way and how they have access to it privately. Okay. Okay. All right. Great. Bye, awesome. Wendy. Thank you. Nice seeing you, dear. Thank okay, you. you're welcome. Mark, how can I help you? Good morning. Good morning. I have a question to ask you about, I've done some videos, not podcasts, but like one minute videos that I posted on social media, Instagram, Facebook. Now I have a YouTube channel. I've uploaded them to my YouTube channel last Excellent. month. Excellent. Put it on my website. Put a link to my website, but my question is coming up with more content that's not repetitive. I'm in a fine, finite industry in healthcare patient advocacy, and it's just a limited. I could I can talk about that I'm aware about that I know about and perfection about. What's your suggestion on coming up with more content and sounding uh, like an expert? Okay, you ready? Yes. You ready to write this down, and you also will have access to this recording. Okay, so you, you don't have to write it down right now. Right off the top of my head, I have this from authors all the time. And I know you may not necessarily have a book, but it's like, how do I not lose content? Well, the first is you will never run out of content. Dude, you are constantly expanding. You are constantly learning. You are never going to run out of content as long as you can read words on a page, okay? So the first thing is, why did you even get into healthcare advocacy? Why are you even in that? Number two, what when you give that story and you break it up into pieces because you're doing these short little videos, then you want to make sure that you also are stating why it's so important that you serve in this way. And you're going to have four or five different perspectives on this from it. Then the third one is what you can do for people right now. Where do you see the industry growing? What sort of personal experiences have you had? Okay, these are all things that are very important for you to be chatting about to people. And if you ever need more assistance on content, you just come here and I will open the room up and you will be flooded, okay? Because we have nothing but creative people in this room right now and they will be glad to help you. You will never be short of content. Just ask a friend. Doing interesting things. Thank you. And your connections, your community. I am getting feedback from somebody's speakers. So could everybody please um, mute themselves except Mark, because I'm getting I'm getting your voices, getting voices from a program. <laughs> okay. Thank you very much, folks. I appreciate you working with me. Um, okay. So that's uh, Mark taken care of. Is there anything else you wanted? Anything else I could help you with? You're asking me or asking the group? I'm asking you, Mark. Sorry. Oh, okay. No, um, no, thank you for that. It's just I... <laughs> Feel like I've said so many things over and over again. I don't. I don't want to sound. I want to be uh, refreshed and tell people more about the industry and keep them interested. Mm -hmm. And one of the best ways to keep people interested is to let them know what you think, what you feel, what you know, right? But don't leave it only educational. Go back to the beginning. Why did you even get into this? What is that story? That's is it really. Okay to repeat? Is it okay to repeat mm -hmm. that? Well, you're not going to say it the same way every time. Go ahead, okay. Hame. Uh, hang on. This is one of the brains. We all have brains. But here is a delightful scholar. Go ahead, Ham. Well, how, how are you? We know each other. 
here, here is the thing. If you want to tell your story again and again and again, you just say it to different people. So every time you say it, it's become better and better. Okay. And then in the chat, Nicole was kind enough to say, talk to people and their pain points. And I always start with my own. What was my own pain? The reason I do a lot of these 90 minute workshops is I got pissed off. <laughs> I'm going to be very frank. I got pissed off. I was red. Okay. Because I spent $2,400 total by the end. I still don't have an audio book up and running. And it's all because, and it's nobody's fault. It's just the challenges of tech. And so Mark, I know you get frustrated by certain things and I know your people get frustrated by certain things. So definitely. Don't tell everyone about me. <laughs> I know you get frustrated by certain things. You're a human being on planet earth. Third okay. rock from the sun in a middle rate social solar system in a tiny little galaxy that's smaller than what we pay attention to with our telescopes, okay? So I know that about you, right? So talk to also your people in that way, all right? Just be very human. The more human you are, the more you're like, and you know what really pisses me off <laughs> is this. And that's why I started XYZ program. I'm very open with people about why I'm running things the way I am with my business. I'm very transparent and they can tell that. And if I'm not for them and they make a mistake, I'm like, here's your money back minus what Stripe took. <laughs> <laughs> right? I, I'll be very yes. upfront about that. Yeah. Okay. All right. Thank Alrighty. you. Alrighty. No problem. So, uh, Ren, thank you so much for joining us. It's lovely to see you. You, um, what can I do for you? She's got to find her button. Got to find the button. Thank you for letting me use my sign. <laughs> there we go. Hi, Ren. Thank you so much for joining us. What's going on? <laughs> Well, I'm just very interested. I got on Zoom, so I accomplished my goal today. I've never been on it before. So this is fascinating. I didn't even know you could see me or anything. Um, I, I'm very interested in maybe different things you could offer me. I'm, I'm not um, gonna write a book or be on YouTube. I don't have anything at this moment that I, I feel like selling. Um, so, I'm just wondering how we can connect. I felt very connected with you when I met you last Saturday. <clears throat> uh, was... Yeah, Ren, uh, Ren was a part of, uh, we met at a metaphysical fair. I was doing my shaman mojo and she was one of those that asked for a reading. And I was like, come on to my open Friday coffee, get to know my other side of my life, blah, blah, blah. And so she's like, I've never been on Zoom before in my life. I'm like, oh, they're great people. You, you don't worry about it. They'll be wonderful. And so um, let me share with you, Ren, you can get on Zoom yet again, and you can join us for, let me find it, the M Monthly Mystics Mastermind that I run. And it's totally for free to the end of the year. And then in January, I'll part, start charging $65 for the program and everything. But you can come on for two months for free. And that crazy link is how you sign up. So you just click on it and it should open up a tab on your, are you on a laptop? Yes, I am. Okay, yes. so it'll open up a tab and then you can just follow the tab and you can sign up, okay? If you have any problems, oh. ra raise your hand and we'll oh. help walk you through it. <laughs> well, I, thank you so much. And I can't wait to um, participate in something that I'm interested in with you. <laughs> Oh, thank you. Thank you. Oh, big heart. <laughs> and uh, happy Thanksgiving and all that good stuff. So, uh, okay. Thank you, Ren. And then uh, let's see, who else do I need? Oh, Adam, I haven't had a chance to really chat with you. What can I do to help you? Oh, you know, you're doing it. I have a full, absolutely full schedule today, except for a half hour. And it's the time of your coffee talk. You do such a wonderful time introducing people to technology getting them flowing forward. I just love to be a part of it. I love to be a part of your community. And um, I'm in Canada, so we don't have Thanksgiving next week. So I'm just getting off of some of that great gadget gobbler energy going on here. <laughs>
if you ever need anything, Adam, let me know, because if I don't know a person, I know a person who knows a person. So I have three master networkers that are in my network. You already know one of them, Michael Whitehouse. The other one is Jeff uh, Bourgeois. And yeah. the third one is Juan Vides. Those are my three master networkers. And if I don't know somebody, they do. And they will get you to people they've actually done business with. Um, at, uh, one of the neat things about today is that we have Mark, Matt, and Haim, who are all part of WOW, which is from Juan Vides's uh, group. So anyhow, Doreen, thank you for being so patient. What's up? How can I help you? Well, because Ren just mentioned it, I thought I would, uh, I'm also follow you in your mystic work. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I had taken your class with uh, the other person on shamanism. And um, you talked about the medicine wheel. And I don't know if now's a good time, but um, I can share my, my animals. Okay, go ahead, share your animals. North is bear. Okay. Go around to east is uh, cheetah. Uh-huh. South is whale. And east is bird. And I, those were the four that I came up as I listened to you guys. Okay, so bear, what color was the field he was in? It was just a forest. No, uh, the green, it was in the green section, the green quadrant. Oh, I was in the north and I couldn't remember. I don't remember which, sorry. Okay, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say green on that one. Then Cheetah was in the yellow as you went to the yes, east. Yes, yeah, uh, I think, uh-huh. Okay, and then Whale was in the blue as you were going yes, south. Yes, okay. you're right, right, because I thought the sun in the Cheetah was, yeah, definitely. Uh -huh. And then the red zone or the red area was bird. bird. Yes. We need to be a little bit more specific. Uh, what kind of bird does oh, it reveal? I didn't just take one. a moment. Just breathe. It, just it breathe. was like a, a sweet little one. Okay. Just keep not going. a hawk. You know, right. it, was, it was. I don't know. Okay. I don't want to. Uh, I don't know bird names. <laughs> so what you want to do is you want to figure out what what specific bird. Okay. And then you're going to email me the list and say bear green, cheetah yellow, whale south bird red and then i will give you the interpretation okay all right thank you. but i need i need a specific bird because bird is like saying human okay all right. we have all different kinds okay so that would help can i say helpful. swallow huh you can a say swallow, swallow. yeah uh-huh yeah. just kind of a graceful right but um graceful. i will uh send you a video since you okay. paid for that yeah let me send you a video and but thank you for giving me the animals because then i can do my thing and then send you a video back okay i hope people cool. can see how uh you you work on other <laughs> realms <laughs> that's okay these all these wonderful people have very specific niches and we will we will take care of them according to their needs on all of that. Okay, so we have 11 minutes before we get ready to go. And we have a joke of the day and we have a golden nugget of the day that there are two wonderful men in my life who help me with those sorts of things. Is there any other questions people have that I may help you with? Hi, Em, would you please give us the golden nugget for the day, sir? Yeah, actually, I was uh, talking about that this morning. It just came up to me. And I say something like that. I don't have enough experience to give up. I don't have enough experience to give up. Thank you very much, sir. I appreciate you so much. Uh, Haim is a delightful scholar. He and I get on calls and I just sit and listen and he just talks. And I'm like, would you mind coming on to my Open Friday coffee and do, do the golden nuggets? Because he always is like, this just came to me this morning. <laughs> drops this golden nugget. Thank you, sir. Appreciate you. And Matt, you always have that joke of the day, my sir. Well, I would say my dating life, but that I think is redundant. And, and, and you know, <laughs> <laughs> actually, I, I found I found something that was uh, quite cute here. So what did the grape say when it got crushed? I have no idea. Nothing. It just let out a little wine. <laughs> I love it. 
And ladies and gentlemen, that is Open Friday Coffee. And thank you so much for joining me today. You have made my Friday, you kicked off my uh, weekend. I love you all very much. You all have been in my life in very different ways. And that's what makes it so much fun for me to have a Friday open coffee with you. Feel free to sign up for next week. And Asha, do we, do we have that link? Can you put that link in the chat so that people can sign up for either next week or the week after? And when you do that, just realize that it will be the day after Thanksgiving. And so why am I having my open Friday coffee when we do that? Because my children are all older and they won't be up before I'm doing this. <laughs> so if you want to join me for next week on open Friday coffee, feel free to register. Have a delightful weekend. Blessings to you all. Bye now.